while mm. I have been uh, advising people that they should find uh, happiness first within themselves and stability first within themselves and then go out chasing relationships I feel like the correct romantic mm. relationships also add a certain level of stability and balance to people's lives so how much of a role does that play in your professional life when we first met and we were attracted to each other and we liked each other i was really honest with her about who i was and what was important to me in life and this is the first step if you don't know who you are and what's really important to you in life then you'll never know who's right for you and no one can ever know if they're right for you either there's so much comfort in a relationship you know i mean just mm-hmm. having this steady person who looks out for you and you love and you want them around all the time it's a beautiful thing like you know and i love being in that i'm very happily married so i've been with my wife now for you know almost going shoot it's almost you know 17 years and she is she is my rock she has been um there through the very hard times and and continues to be here for the good times but there's still hard times you know relationships are hard and they take work and anybody who thinks that it's all just you know amazing all the time is definitely not basing their assumption or assumption in reality i guess you live and learn right there are times when you give more importance to your professional life than to your personal life and therefore your personal life suffers and i think like whether you have professional goals or not a stable relationship just makes you happy it's definitely a phase which has a lot of like uh, personal comfort and there's a lot of like positive reinforcement from the other side the less time you go out looking for something the more it's likely to happen organically mm. i think it's always best when it happens organically in our society i think it's gotten really weird in terms of we're we're bombarded by by imagery of beauty and and this feeling of wanting and and longing for and and not having this and so we think and we are we are conditioned to think that the grass is greener on the other side when the grass is green right where you are if you can find somebody that you love that respects you that is your partner is there for you and that you just enjoy hanging out and chilling with You know that's the person that that you should be with. I think the positive aspect is that my my best friend is my wife. We have the same taste, we have the same world view, we like doing the same things. We we discuss the same things. Our stand on 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 money, on on religion, on parenting, on how to live life is pretty much the same. So we just we just have a lot of fun together. I've seen three types of relationship. So one is where you are the parent to your partner. So it's almost like you're like their dad or their mom. So they need hand-holding, they need support. They need you to guide them and show them the way. And you have to decide is that something you want in life. The second type of relationship I've seen is where you are the child. So actually you need the parent. You need someone to guide you, right? So that's another type of relationship. And the third type of relationship I've seen is where you're partners, where you're both equally balancing out the parental and the child aspect and you both support each other the point is which one do you want i think for me uh it's definitely somebody who kind of helps you grow who you see yourself like growing with and who pushes and that's and that i think is a personal thing like i am the kind of person like who wants to be a better person tomorrow relationships are like a flower you plant it you give it a little bit of water it starts to grow Right what happens if you stop watering it of course it dies it withers because it it it's unattended to heartbreaks happen but i think at that stage you know you feel that's the like the worst thing that happened to you and then you move on i think the seriousness with which the young people actually today feel that it's very personal again you know like if somebody's let you down right then you feel oh god and then there's something wrong with you and then you internalize that and then everything becomes a spiral they take themselves too seriously do you think that's also the case i i guess if you are in a in a stage of mental this thing you would have taken yourself a little too seriously you need to be like a really strong secure okay with yourself uh to be able to give yourself fully to another person because you also have that responsibility right you're not like if you're in a relationship it goes work, works both ways I mean you're getting something you're getting this support and emotion because you are also giving that back. You've got to be willing on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual basis to put in the time and to not get distracted. And remember, you're just trying to help them get closer to their goal. It's not about you compromising because what ends up happening in relationships is 
both the man and the woman or the man and the man or the woman and the woman everyone compromises and when you compromise then you always feel in your heart like oh because of them i gave up what was important to me then something's wrong somewhere and you can sure work on it then but i i think it it requires uh it requires attention like don't don't take it for granted and frankly if we don't have arguments and difference of opinion then how are we going to get the best out of each other right 100% so it's a marriage built on growth i'm assuming on, on growth yes yeah i think all relationships have to grow and we also have to realize that people are growing in different ways at different times point is that you have to recognize as long as that person is growing their growth may not look like your growth if you understand the concept of compounding let's say i grow at 5% every year and my wife grows at 10% every year and we both start with around about 100 for the first 3 years you wouldn't feel much of a difference right because i in the first year become 105 then i become slightly more then i become slightly more. so i am about 117 odd by the end of third she is at about 124 25 by the end of third but come 5 years come 7 years the difference becomes stark Like you suddenly start seeing a diverging path. The goal of the relationship was get her closer to her goal, and she helps me get closer to my goal. Not that we trade our goals and just work on each other. And so, really, what you're giving up is that sense of proprietorship, that sense of ego and control, because love means understanding the person's goal and love. So, to me. That's what really has been the the guiding force of our marriage 